We are Ghost Paranormal, a team of paranormal investigators from different walks of life. We have our own lives and our own families. We all have had our own personal experiences with the paranormal. We come together to find out what makes the doors open and close on our own. We come together to find out what makes the hair stand up in the back of your neck. We come together for one specific purpose, to hunt the unknown truth. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Rich Rooms, Billy Joe. Uh, we've got Mark here with us tonight. We're in a private residence uh, in Southeast Tennessee. Um, we're asked out here by the homeowner, and uh, there's some claims and uh, some issues and conditions that they've asked us to come out and validate. Uh, got Shalissa behind the camera tonight. A couple of our folks are out of pocket. Um, we had claims of noises, voices, um, child being terrorized by what uh, the child describes as a monster, um, which I'm sure a two-year-old would probably be based on what I've caught in my walkthrough uh, here yesterday. I came in to uh, see the homeowner and do a walkthrough and caught enough evidence to, to dictate us being here tonight and we're going to do our best to, to clean out what's here and get it moved on or moved out. Um, when it comes down to a family situation with children, we immediately need to be there or we're there. Uh, but it should be a pretty interesting evening. Um, not a very big venue, so we don't have a big crowd with us tonight, nor a big uh, crew. So uh, stick with us tonight, and uh, hopefully we'll get the family some help they need. Thanks. Okay, we're going to start out the investigation, as we do every investigation, um, with uh, a walkthrough with Mark. Uh, he's our team medium, and uh, he's going to bring a lot of information to us. We don't. He doesn't want to know, and we don't want to tell him anything that's going on. It kind of serves to the validation of what he sees later on against the evidence that we happen to track of anything. Um, so right now we're going to go ahead and follow Mark through. So Mark, go ahead and begin what you got. Okay. Uh, the way, before I came, I did remote viewing okay. of the property and uh, to pinpoint areas of energy. Okay. And uh, from the house right here, I pinpointed, before I came in, about the energy source. and. What's happening is the energy that's here, that or the uh, shadow person, is absorbing energy from all the equipment that's in the kitchen to yeah. produce. But he comes from out uh, from an area of near the corner of the fenced-in yard. So I mean, on the other side of it. So, which is okay. a foundation which was a burnt down trailer at one time. Uh, so, I'll go through that and show what his path is when he comes into the house. Now, may I ask you, you did you get this burnt trailer as they, part of your... No, no, they took me the burnt trailer. I asked okay. them what the area was okay. because I had pinpointed it and wanted to know what it was. Oh, okay. So, and they tell me it is a foundation, but it right. is something that it comes from... When it comes from starts, it comes from that area. Okay. And that's one reason why it's also on this side of the house. Okay. Well, that makes sense. And it, the things that were happening there happened here before this house was here. Okay. Or this, this, you know, before, before this was here. Um, the things that I'm hearing. First, of course, coming through the front door, um, you're having more activity here, but uh, there was I, I felt a little something from that area of the house, but not much. It's okay. really, I think, this is the area you're going to need to just cleanse, you're going to need to close off the access to it. Okay. Uh, I think the yard needs to be... Take a little salt and go around the property and start doing kind of like a border okay. one. Uh, there are two feminine spirits that are here that uh, are acting as a buffer between the energy that's coming in. Okay. Uh, so they are there to buffer it between the child or and the adults and everyone here. It's a they're acting as a buffer to it. Okay. I don't think that it's a, it's not a, a good energy. Okay, that's, that's buffering against. But it's not, uh, it's not able to do damage. Okay. So it has some abilities, but not that ability. 
it has abilities, but it's more than likely just coming in, absorbing energy. When it gets a good scare, then it eats a little bit of that, it absorbs that thermal heat. So, uh, but there are energies that are kind of buffering between that energy and uh, the child. Okay. So even though the child is seeing it, the child is not in danger. Okay. okay. Um, and what I'm seeing, of, well, we'll go in here. Let's see. So the energy, the male, uh, what I keep picking up from him is that he's from that area. Okay. Uh, in the 70s, he was mushed. He was what? Mushed. What do you mean mushed? Mushed. Oh, squished. Oh. He something. says mushed. So, okay. drunk and mushed. Nice. So he got mushed somehow. I don't think he knows exactly how he died, but he died. <laughs> and so... Okay. And he's kind of like a derelict energy, just a kind of a uh, a wandering, uh, discarnate spirit. So is this the one the child is seeing that's scaring her? Yeah. This guy? Would he be, would he come across he was angry? Uh, Mad, upset, confused? Well, probably more intense. Okay. It would be the word. Okay. I don't know that he's angry, but I know that um, more of a um, bored. <laughs> Great. Wants to do. Play, doesn't have anything to do. Um, and like I said, I think before this property was here, before the this building was here, I think there may have been a little bit more, you know, access to the property or, or okay. stuff and it's just this is the closest energy when he manifests when he come when he awake wakes up comes yeah. out of wherever um this is where he comes because it, it draws him and he's living off the fear of the child he's living off the energy of the child he's living off energy that's from there's just a good enough energy to be able to absorb off that to manifest enough to function. Okay. And to so, keep him from being bored. And the kid, well, he's bored. He thinks they're kind of boring. He thinks they're boring. But he's bored. You know. Okay. <laughs> so he's kind of here. He thinks they're boring, but he's it's a different board than what he is, you know. Okay. Um, but, uh, I hear something, uh, it's kind of like, would be a bar. Uh, the things that I'm associating with him, there was a bar not too far from here, maybe within two to three miles, called, it would be something like Clyde's Bar. Okay. It would have been 70s, probably ended in 85, 86, 87, somewhere around there. Well, the research, huh? Yeah. Um, but it's really within distance, and I think he died being drunk on the way here or okay. to whatever or where, who is staying around oh. and do I need to move? No, it was, no, it was just registering. <laughs> yeah. Um, I tried to associate what his name was and bar came up first so I was trying bar. to figure out but, that, but he's talking about a bar. Um, kind, of, I, kind of like the town lush. It kind of it seems to have enjoyed the alcoholic beverage. Uh, I would say a leftover hippie bum. Awesome. Kind of like a biker bum. Just what everybody needs in your neighborhood. He's just a, uh, and if you see him, he's very dark. Okay. Because one, uh, he didn't like the way he looked after he died, apparently. So he died, a lot of spirits do not, um, since they're an energy and they're, they're aware Right. They don't consider them, themselves dead. Okay. But if they see themselves, if they're discarnate and they haven't gone through the process to separate their spirit from their body mm -hmm. and go on through, and they can come back and forth when they go through the process. Okay. Uh, he didn't go through the process. So 
a lot of times if they look dead, there's a problem. And he's very dark, and that's to hide what he really looks like, because nice. he's really mushed. Is he pretty intelligent? I mean, is he... I mean, he's, he's pretty active. Um... I mean, he's got a pretty decent conscious level, doesn't he? And he has enough basic mm -hmm. to to get by. To get by. Okay. To get by. Not like um, I'm going to do this to do this to get this. It's just that he is uh, just doing what's coming naturally. Nice. Okay. Um, but uh, in the spot here that it comes into around here it's um to a lot of times discarnates will come in around where there is waste and things like that because okay. they absorb minerals alpha and natural energy that. Okay. from under the ground and stuff so uh he's just found his own way to function okay. and that's uh i think that his name is robert Robert. Okay. He didn't really want me to know what his name was. And that's because he feels like that would be leverage over him. Because it doesn't mean you can control a spirit. It just means you have leverage. Right. Once you know who they are. Okay. Um, the word dango or dingo. I want to say dingo. But, um, but the word dangle came up. And I'm going to have to research to see if that's a name or a nickname or a... Okay. It may be a nickname. Maybe. Um, but I keep hearing it, so... Um, the two women that are here... Uh, the one that has... I, uh, the main... Kind of... Main character type? Main character. Okay. Um, I feel something over here, so when she died, she died from... Something that relates with the side. Maybe. Left side, like a heart attack? Uh, heart attack. Okay. Um, possible one of them has a C attached to them. So C can mean you know, cancer. Or, okay. But it's but I'm, the main one is um, has something about this side. Okay. And I associate a D with them. So. A D? A D. Letter D. Okay. A D. Uh, so we'll see. The other one has a B. So, um, but like I said, they're the buffers between all of us. They just see it as a mess that just needs to be wiped away. Wiped away. Moved. Moved on. Okay. Because it's something that's here. Um, if you moved, it might move with you. Nice. So, it was kind of attached to the family. Well, if it was able to, if able to, he would. He would move. So, um, so what needs to be done is just to separate his energy from their energy. Okay. And uh, then after that, then he'll he won't be able to funk to eat right. off of it, and he'll go do something else. He'll go bother somebody else. I mean, it's whatever whatever we're going to have to do tonight to be able to separate him to his child's family yeah, some peace. Be, it will be very easy. And actually, it's going to be pretty easy, I think. Good. To okay. Do. So, I well, don't I know, see it as... I know when we talked about this on the phone a little bit, Yeah. you're asking me, you know, what to bring in it. Can I share with you what I experienced yesterday? Are you ready for that? Sure. Okay. Um, when I came in here and I did the walkthrough, you know, he was very vocal, um, not vocal, but very active on the equipment. In here. Okay. Loved playing in here. Sure. <laughs> um, I mean, I had a paracorder in the closet. I had K2 meter. He was setting them both off on command. Um, and it seemed like his energy just shot up. Mm -hmm. Did that make sense? Yeah. And got away. Yeah. And then he come back. Um, the one EVP I got that disturbed me, mm -hmm. another reason why I said we really had to get out here. The one EVP I got, and... Um, you know, I guess chilled me in my core was he said, help me kill them. That was class A. Mm. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming based on what I get, and I'm not you and I don't have your ability, but I've got, he's doing that to intimidate. Yeah. And that okay. comes from a, like an outlaw biker okay. background. Nice. And um, 
So he's kind of he's kind of a a bum and a bully. Well, if that works for him, yeah. Okay. But also, nice one enough. reason that he also is here is because of that. Because of TV. The TV. Mm, color and movement. He watches the TV. He watches the TV. Okay. That's interesting. Um, he is bored. Huh? He is bored then. He is bored. Okay, that's And why. they are watching things that bore the hell out of him. So, but he watches TV. He, they watch shows that bore the hell out of him, so... Yes, it's not what he would want. It's kind of like watching a train wreck you don't really want to, but he's yeah, doing Yeah, but you're anyway. talking about somebody who was, you, you know, around at the time when, before cable, when there was like three channels. Oh, and, okay. And the stuff, you know, I mean, you know, he's a little later than the mod squad. But, you know, but he's, but he, he gets bored at whatever they're watching in here. Oh, okay. So, it, oh, and Sue, since it's, you know, um, it, it's, he, he just, he, he would rather see something else. Nice. Um, well, I, I definitely will tell him not to change their programming because I want to give him a reason. No, no, yeah. no. Well, when he goes somewhere else to, to do something, he'll go somewhere else, you know. So, okay. uh. It's not the kind of spirit you can just say, go into the light kind of thing. Right, uh, not earthbound. He's, he's more of a earthbound discarnate who eventually his energy will break down and grind down and he'll go back into the, um, the consciousness. Okay. But right now, he's not. Because <laughs> uh, um, it would be more like, you know, having roaches kind of thing, you know, kind of like an infestation you get rid of. Okay. Infestation. Okay. Uh, if, you know, it's not like he's bringing other people in with him, because he would be able to if he wanted to. Really? If he had any friends, then he doesn't have any friends. The thing so, I got from him yesterday, kind of, kind of, I'm sorry. Kind of a loner. Kind of a loner. The thing I got from him yesterday, you can tell me from right or wrong, man, because, again, you're the man, but the thing I got from him yesterday is he had some abilities and they were okay, then he had some that were really weak. Is that um, accurate at all? I think that he just functions on if it works, it works. Oh, he's no not, real sex He's plan, not but. really conscious too much on how to make it do. He's just doing okay. it. Okay. Well, I'm kind of glad then at that point because that uh, would be bad. So, you know, it's going to, like I said, I, I think, you know, through setting up boundaries, then you'll be able to cut him off from that. Okay, just cut him off the past, I think. Cut him off the past. Okay. Um, so, uh, but this side of the house from about the kitchen yeah. cabinet side over to here is where, you, is, is where you had to fool with. But, like I said, when he was around or whatever it was or how he ever stayed or camped or was out or whatever, on that, where the foundation, uh, around on that property. Okay. And like I said, wherever he's coming here, I think he used to wander around here or do something here before it was this. What about the two females? The two females are family. Oh, ah, okay. From this family. Okay. Because so even if he's like a walk through the same so. They are no. just, they are buffering right. to, uh, you know, so the child is not in. Physical danger. And they're not in physical danger either. It's that would just, explain it's, that EVP. Yeah, it would. Uh, which, um, when they were asking, you know, you know, uh, 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 of course there is a grandmother energy. Okay. So. That which totally um, explains that yeah, EVP. Which, um, I want to say it's two grandma energy, but I'm not sure. Okay. But, uh, um, um. And I don't, uh, but uh, they're just, they just basically are the buffer between it, that, so they won't allow anything like that. Well, let me, let me tell you, uh, we've, been, we've been working with Mark now for a while, and the man totally amazes me with his abilities. And what's funny is, is that when I first met him, we first met him, we were in a building that he never been in before, and everything he said put everything together, us, all the pieces came together like a jigsaw puzzle. And again, this is another example, I, I was here yesterday, doing a walkthrough and one of the EVPs I got when I was saying do you do you try to keep the man from getting to the child 
I got a female into his voice that said, I'm trying. It's mine. Yeah, it's mine and I'm trying. Yeah. Almost like a, almost like somebody fighting against evil to protect her kids type thing, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, and it's I, two women against an outlaw biker bum. Wow. And they pretty well just see him as a biker bum. Nice. But it was just, it's so funny how your stuff correlates so easily with everything we've caught. And we hadn't talked about it. Yeah, and I hadn't, because I won't, because you yeah, asked us not to, I so I won't. But yeah, yeah. everything we got yesterday, I got uh, 11 EVPs here yesterday, and 9 out of the 11 were female. Yeah. And, and all of them seem to be nurturing type of EVPs or not. Not threatening. No. Yeah. Menacing. No. But they're strong enough to keep that from... Coming out and like you know if someone's sleeping, yeah. Uh, what he would do more of uh, would be standing over people, mm. that kind of thing. And actually, they keep him his movement kind of isolated. Like kind of in here, almost. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's why most activity and, is here. And <laughs> uh, also, I hear somebody saying, you know, uh. uh any sewer problems, any of that here, you know, that just feeds it or if it, you know, so, I mean, you know, but it's, but it's just, that's one reason it, it's more here. More here. It eats, uh, there are just certain spirits and discarnates who, they will absorb minerals from anywhere. Okay. And that's one reason why they go where they go. They go. Are you catching anything in there? Uh, I just feel like it's, it's, I feel more, let me, well, let me see what's in Let's here. Let's roll in here. Um, I really feel that the, it's, when he comes in, he's coming in from that corner. Okay. And so, the, if there's any activity in here, this is not interesting to him. This is like a thoroughfare type This thing? is a thoroughfare. And where he's going is the, is the kitchen energy spot. Where he feels like he can hide is in the closet. Yeah. That makes total so, sense. But he comes in here, but there's nothing really to entertain him here. So, he gets energy right here and goes through this way into the closet. So the closet, he's not right, he's just going through walls. Just passing through. Just passing through. Now what people have to understand, um, and a lot of them don't in this situation, people have paranormal activity in their home, uh, there are some contributing factors to what's keeping them here. Food. <laughs> uh, when we put a K2 meter on a refrigerator, um, doesn't matter what kind of refrigerator it is, doesn't matter if it's brand new, it's going to give off some EMF, it's going to leach out some EMF. Uh, again, freezer, same thing. It's got a compressor motor that spins. It's going to give off EMF. Fans, horrible when they're running. If you want to talk about a, a, a buffet, it would be here in the summertime with the fan going. Um, and that's, you know, it, it puts off EMF. And a lot of people have sensitivities to EMF. Some people get rashes, some people get nauseous, some people get the creeped out feeling. Um, and it becomes a food source, as Mark was saying. It becomes something that they crave and feed from and then continue on the little merry way of doing whatever they're doing in the house. Um, and you've got to have these things, but you know people have to understand that, that you almost build the fear cage around you because you've got a microwave there, refrigerator there, freezer there, fan there. And when you get turned on, uh, yeah, and then all of a sudden here, this becomes almost like a fear cage. You're almost surrounded by EMF. Very so similar to your basement. You spend a lot of time in your kitchen. Yeah, yeah. you spend a lot of time well, in your kitchen and everything so, else. So. Yeah. And it's just like they're coming in here to eat. Right. And so the spirit, when it comes in here, it absorbs whatever there is. And then when it goes into there, it's just where he can hang out. Okay. Out, right. of, out of the way. All right. So um, the next thing, really, is if you want to go look at the outside. Uh, outside. Okay. And then we'll. Lights out and go. Lights out and go. All right, get with us for just a minute. We're going to step outside. We'll be right back. Okay. We, uh, we've done a walk through with Mark outside, inside the house. A lot of dogs barking in the background, so we're going to have to talk over that a little bit. Forgive me. I think I can handle it, though. We're going to just take a walk around the house. Mark is talking about some entryway or some pathway that one of the spirits happens to take, and he wanted to take a walk out here with us, so come for a walk with us. The dead person over in there. There's what? There's a dead person over in here. Somewhere. 
Really? From past, yeah. There's a dead, dumped person. Oh, oh that's nice. Uh, what? The bones are from, from a long time ago? Dumped person. From about the 60s, 70s, there's okay. a dumped, someone's skeleton over in there. They're dumped. <laughs> Buried. We'll have to edit out her voice and that too, but yeah, that's a shocker for you. <laughs> yeah, but it's, um, and I will tell you, even though if somebody wants to put something on here, they, it ain't going to happen for a while. They shouldn't do it? It won't happen. Oh, okay. It won't happen. I'm sorry, I missed that. There, he yes, said it won't happen if someone wants to put something, there's something here, it won't happen. wrong with this property. So, whether it was, um, okay. sorry. But I think uh, the guy that also is here, I think the kind of like the Albar Lawbiker-ish energy. Yeah. I think the dumped person is probably from the same kind of stuff. Okay. Nice. And it awesome. May be, it may be him. I don't know. He can't, I can't get it out of him. But so uh, you're saying that could be his body? Yeah. Oh, but That's he doesn't right. manifest the way that he was then. So. No. No. Okay. So. Is that what you got out of here then? Yeah. That's okay. it. Okay. I think we just need to go grab, I'll go grab my uh, charge water. And yeah, whatever it is, it's like right here. Right here. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, what we just got done doing a walk with Mark, um, talking to the homeowners a little bit. Um, you know, they had some questions, some concerns. They want to bring to Mark's attention. So we broke away from recording so they weren't on camera. Um, we're in the bath, in the bedroom now, uh, bathroom door behind us. This has been a center of attention. This is the center of attention I got yesterday in my walkthrough. This is the center of attention of Mark got tonight. Um, and it still staggers me with Mark that his ability to be so on cue and on key that uh, to me it's, it's just it's staggering the imagination. But we. And the things he just says when he had no idea. Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, we don't feed him any information. We don't, he doesn't want to know. He'll even tell you, look, don't tell me. Um, he comes in and he gets all the answers that he needs based on his walk. Now, the name he gave us in here was Robert. 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 And possibly a nickname of Dingo or... Dingo would... Or Dingle. Dangle. Or Dangle or... Something like something that. Something like that. Alright. So, we're going to begin an EVP session here uh, in, in the bedroom area where most of the stuff happens now. The claim is in this closet here on the left, we've got a paracorder down here on the floor. Um, we have a paracorder over here on the child's bed um, that we may call the attention uh, of the camera on to if anything goes off. Uh, if we do, you'll see the light get a little darker because Shalissa will turn that light off that's on the um, on the frame and give us an opportunity to be able to register it. Yeah, so it'll show up really well without having test day as an example right there. Uh, so we're going to be in an EVP session in this, in this room now, but the claim is that the child who sleeps in this bed, the closet door opens up and an entity presents itself to the child, scaring it and then living off of its energy uh, of the fear, which is really sick, which causes... Children are much more susceptible than adults are to entities talking to them and scaring them because they're so young they don't have a disbelief system. Exactly. It's, it's a great point. Um, and, and that's what happens here. You know, people... Uh, grow that as a part of their, their adult behavior down the road but uh you know the child I gets don't scared believe in that theory <laughs> yeah uh the child gets scared so he feeds off of that he feeds off the electronics we talked about in the kitchen um you know he's a little bit active here in the bathroom as well but every time we hear like i said earlier every time we hear there's a child involved in a case we drop everything and the family investigations happen first and we're yeah, going to do did a, the walk yesterday and we're here tonight yeah, so, yeah, what happened yesterday, right about, you know, 12, 13 hours ago is when it began, mm -hmm. but, you know, we're going to be in here tonight, we're going to do a short investigation, try to do some EVP sessions in here, try to sit down and relax a little but bit. But our and main goal see... is to get it out. Yeah, our main goal is to get it out, so we're going to do a little bit of an interaction here, a little EVP session in here, in the bathroom, and then we're going to let Mark do his cleansing in here, and you'll be able to witness that as well, uh, that is part of what we do. We don't leave people with the paranormal activity. We have a member in our team, Mark, who is a phenomenal medium and psychic, and he's his charge with the private residences is to come out here and help them. So that's the main reason why we're here tonight. This part that you're seeing here is really just kind of a kind of gratis. Um, well, that and uh, 
and just prove that it actually was here. And to prove that the activity is here. Uh, so hopefully they will interact, Robert and the two females that are in the house would interact with us. I thought I just heard something, sorry. Um, we're a couple of, a couple of quick quotes, uh, a couple of quick things, not quotes, but things. We're on real-time EVPs, which means as it's being said, recorded, what have you, we're able to hear it. So if something is said, we can check it, we can double check it, we can interact with something live as it happens. And you'll hear this as it comes off of our recorder through something there. So we do that as kind of, uh, kind of a thing to be able to start a communication base with. So we're going to start out with an EVP session. Sounds good. Let me get a couple of our usuals out. You want a K2 or you want a ghost mirror? Um, whichever. Why don't you go ahead and have the ghost mirror? Oh, I get them. I get the good toy. You get the bad boy. I'm going to hang out here in the closet for a moment. I know we brag on this piece of equipment, but it is really a wonderful piece of equipment. Holy mackerel. Holy mackerel. He just had it to red. Did you catch that? No, I oh, can't well, see. This way I can't see. Look, it's going off again. Come in closer. Take a look at this. It's going off again right here. Robert, if this is you, man, just, just light it up to red. Go ahead. If you're on, if this is Robert, can you uh, light this up? Are you catching that now? You can zoom in a little bit if you want to. I'm already zoomed in on it. Wow. I mean, he's he's hitting it hard. This Are you catching it to. now? Yeah. If this is you, can you uh, come near this and make it go once for yes and twice for no? Is this Robert? It was yes. That makes sense. So you got the volume up on that? No. Oh. So, uh, Robert, are you happy we're here? Yeah. Oh, just hit the K2 again. Do you like talking to people? I just heard a sure. Did you hear that? I did. No. You don't like talking to people? Oh, that sure sounded sarcastic. It did. <laughs> so Robert is your name? <laughs> Let me ask that again just to be sure. No. Robert is your name? He steps away. There goes the K2. He'll be back. Are you able to catch that K2 in here at all? Are you able to catch the paracorder? That's, well that's what I was checking earlier, but nothing was happening. Okay. I'm going to... Is he back? Not yet. You're just beating the life out of it. Yeah, it's beating them. So, Robert, did you have a nickname? Did I just hear my name being called? I hear it. Robert, did you have a nickname? Was your nickname Dingo? Yes. Did you hurt a lot of people when you were alive? Did I guess? That was a no. Ask him the really big question. It's um, doing something funny. Bouncing like crazy? Uh, no, it stayed all in the middle. Uh, now it's bouncing. Okay, Robert. I know you like playing. Oh, he's macking the garbage out of the key, too. Are you angry? Just leave the IR off and just shoot it like that. Okay, Robert, can you play with that blue leaded thing in the middle there, please? He said no. He said no. Just walk by it or move your hand. Is that a yes? Mm -hmm. Well, go ahead. You play with it yesterday, play with it now. It's not going to hurt you. I think you did it by accident yesterday. Yeah, because it was quick. I mean, it was a minute I laid it down, stepped back five feet, he hit it hard. He loved playing with the K2. He said no. No? Maybe he wanted to see what it was or what it would do. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Did you want to see what it was? Yes. Were 
Were you a biker? Yes. That was a solid yes. Solid. All right, I'm going to ask you a quick question that uh, I don't know how comfortable you are to answer. Okay. Do you not want to talk to him? No. And he's, he's no, he's just beating the life out of the ghost. Yeah, it was a no, and now he's beating it up. He doesn't want to talk to you. So you would rather talk to a female? Ask him the question. Ask him the question when he comes back, since he likes to talk to you. Ask him the question about the thing in the forest. Okay. And the well. Robert, will you stop and come back and talk to me? Is this Robert? This isn't Robert? Can you tell me your name on a count of three? One, two, three. Didn't get anything. Robert, is this you? That was fast. Robert, is this you? Once for yes, twice for no. Okay. Did we catch you moving or doing something in the closet with that camera over there? No. No? Robert, since you're talking to me now, is that your body buried in the woods? Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, just for clarification, Robert, is that your body buried in the woods? Okay, Robert, let me first say this. I'm sorry. That was a rough way to be handled. Is that a yes? Mm -hmm. Said yes instead of a day. We want to put you at peace, Robert, but I don't know if that's possible. Man. I don't know what it's doing when it does that. Just it's banging like crazy? No, it's staying in the middle. And then it goes down. And turn, it goes it off, up. turn it back on, see what happens? No, it goes back to normal. He's like hitting it. Are you doing that on purpose? Can you play with this device again for me? Light it up again, please? Like you did yesterday on command? Okay. Play with that device. Can you light those lights up then? Bam. On command. Did you see that? No, I missed it. Okay. Can you do it one more time, Robert, please? Yeah. Bam. Now, wow. instead of doing the green light, can you go back and do the blue light, please? Okay. Go ahead and touch that. It's kind of like a xylophone. Just kind of run your hand over it. I don't know. I said no. Sometimes I like to play with it, sometimes I don't. <laughs> Do you not like the blue light? No. Does it hurt you? That's not it. I think I know what the problem is. What's the problem? It takes more energy, doesn't it? Yes. No. No. You just doesn't like. You just. You don't like it, do you? You just don't like it. <laughs> he just doesn't like it. Is there something bad from the past that remind that that device reminds you of? It's not there right this second. It's just banging the life out of it. Okay, you play with that one. Can you go back to playing with this one again? Since you seem to like that one, can you go back to making that one light up again, please? Wow, he will not leave off. Shut it off. Make him work with your K2. I don't mind you talking through this, Robert, but you're confusing us. 
with playing with it like that. So we want to go back to using this device well, how here. About, how about we, we do something different? How about for yes, you make it light up? This device. How about that? Can you do that? If that's a yes and you can do that, and you want to do that, light it up for us. Robert, we want to talk with you. We want to interact with you. And we're asking you to do something. I know I wouldn't want to put on a dog and pony show either, but it's kind of the way that the people that there, are going to there, watch there us can see. Whoop, there we go. Thank All you. right. So you were a biker when you were alive. Is that true? Remember, make this light up for yes. Is that true? You were a biker? Damn. <laughs> and uh, my guess is you like to drink. Is that true? Did you hear that? No, what? What'd you hear? It's like a... Almost like a wine. No, I didn't hear that. Robert, if you'd like to drink a little bit, make that light up for us, please. What was the name of that bar that Clyde's. 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 Hey Robert, you can tell us a little something about the history here. Was there a bar somewhere near here called Clyde's? If there was, can you light that up for me? Does Clyde's ring a bell? Mark was telling us about a place called Clyde's, a bar. Do you know anything about that? If you do, can you make that light up, please? You're a pop? I did. Came from the closet. <laughs> yeah, I know, because my microphone was like right in the closet. I know, mine too. Are you tired of working with us? I think he does. Hey, you took away his toy, didn't this. you? I'll turn that back on. I'm going to sit down. Okay. So, Robert, we have a few questions about your favorite hangout. Will you come and talk to us about it? Gosh. Oh wait, your nickname was Dingo. You like that better. Yeah, well, he's being, I'm glad we're getting a replacement of that. So, um, this is Dingo, correct? Who's stomach? I, I burped. My bad. Oh, that was like a rumble burp. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I would have said Dingo something sooner. And, um, we were talking about your favorite hangout, and that was Clyde's, correct? Clyde's Bar. I think I just heard, I think Said I just heard yes. a man say, Clyde's Bar. And um, you like drinking there, right? No. You just hung out there? Did you own the bar? Oh, good question. Is that a yes? That's a solid yes. Did you own the bar? Can you use this now to, to talk to us? Now we got the toy term back on. Can you use this to talk to us? Here we're lighting it up as a positive answer, like a yes. Can did you own the bar? My leg is cold. <laughs> yeah, mine too, right here. Yeah. Wow. I think. He likes the device because yeah. it's different. Okay, so uh, Clyde, did you own, I mean, Dingo, did you own Clyde's bar? Yes. The noise of somebody outside the living room moving around. That was, that was a yes, twice now. Twice now on the same question? Did you name the bar after someone special to you? Yes. yes. 
Was it your dad's name? Yes. I'll ask that one again. Was it your dad's name? No. Was it your dad's nickname? Again, the noise you're hearing in the background is some yet liver moving around. No. I'm confused. Was it a woman that does name Clyde? God, I would hope not. I couldn't imagine going through school with a female in the name of Clyde. Yeah. Maybe it was after. Maybe it was after that song, "Buying Clyde." Maybe. No. no. Did you have a son that you named Clyde? He's a lot quieter now than he was yesterday. I'll give you that. That was a yes. Ask it again. So Clyde was your son. Correct? Yes. I think I just heard a yes, too, in my ear. Did something bad happen to him? Is that why? My stomach. That was a yes. So something bad happened to your son? Oh. Yeah, but you didn't see what it did before that. What? It hung out in the middle, and then it went down to nothing. I really hope we're not disturbing him by asking. No. And that is the, uh, That's the heater. heater. Well, you know, I think I think it's probably time to go ahead. What do you think? Yeah. Let Mark do his job and, and do... He's back. Do the, oh, he's back. We're going to have well, one more quick conversation well, with Robert. Well, Robert, we're going to... I'm going to do some research into the bar. And, um... You don't want to be removed from here, do you? No. So you know that you can still be next door. Out in the field. Out in the field. Yep. Yes. Okay. Well, that's where we want you to stay, Robert. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and. Uh, we're going to wrap up. This is just a really short impromptu investigation. And, um, I think we actually we caught a, a couple answers. of EVPs, yeah. Um, I know for one, we caught that short. That was sarcastic. It was very sarcastic. Yeah, he was, it was uh, like, short. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah sure. Um, but that was, I would think that would be Class A. I think you'll actually be able to hear that Class A. And it's just, you know, we, we didn't come here for this. We came here for, We're here you know, to help them and yeah. to get rid of what's here. Um, in some cases, they don't want it here, and no. that's why we got into this. We got into this so we could help families that didn't have anywhere to turn. So, yeah, with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and pause and break away from the investigation, and then you're going to be able to actually catch uh, Mark and in, uh, in his binding and his cleansing of the house tonight. So stick with us. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Uh, since this was a spur of the moment, Thing. This is going to, this may not look very impressive, but this is a quick job you can do for yourself, which is I took water, distilled water, and put sea salt in it, and then charged up the bottle of water by seeing it encased in white light, tinged in blue. That helps charge up the water and it helps. Uh, what we're going to do is by putting the salt in the water, that's two elements, one for grounding, uh, which is the salt, which will help set up the barrier that I'm going to be going around and doing a line of water, spritzing it around the house as we go to start setting the border to where the spirit cannot uh, cross the line. As it, uh, I will make a barrier for the spirit to stay away from. Spirits of ill will and ill intent cannot and will not cross this line. Spirits of ill will and ill intent cannot and will not cross this line. 
Merits of ill will and ill intent cannot and will not cross this line. Spirits of ill will and ill intent cannot and will not cross this line. Spirits of ill will and ill intent cannot and will not cross this, this line. Spirits of ill will and ill intent cannot and will not cross this line. Spirits of ill will and ill intent cannot and will not cross this line. Spirits of ill will and ill intent cannot and will not cross this line. Spirits of ill will and ill intent cannot and will not cross this line. Okay, now we're going to spray around the door. And now I'm going to light my sage and take it and make a line around three times, just like I did the water. Is that, was somebody talking? No, dogs are barking outside. Okay. And you can use any kind of sage. So it doesn't have to be white sage? It doesn't have to be white sage. It can be um, special blends, anything, but as long as it's something that smokes. Because the spirits that are lower energy spirits uh, cannot handle the smoke. It's overwhelming to them. And it's going to take a while to get this one to burn. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to take the sage and I'm going to seal the door away. Spirits of ill will and ill intent cannot and will not cross. Spirits of ill will and ill intent cannot and will not cross this line. Spirits of ill will, ill intent, cannot and will not. And it helps while you're doing this to envision that while you're doing the smoke, that you're envisioning white light filling up the rooms as you're doing it. Spirits of ill will, ill intent, cannot, will not cross this line. Spirits of ill will and intent cannot, will not cross this line. Spirits of ill will and intent cannot, will not cross this line. Spirits of ill will, ill intent, cannot and will not cross this line. Spirits of ill will, ill intent, cannot and will not cross this line. Spirits of ill will, ill intent, Cannot, will not cross this line. Spirits of ill will, ill intent, cannot and will not cross this line. 
Now I have to do it one more time. Cross this line. Spirits of ill will, ill intent, cannot and will not cross this line. This house is not yours. These people are not yours. Go back to where you came. Go in peace. Go in peace. Go in peace. Samadhi. And now, we are finished. Did you get anything? While you're doing well, I'm this? cleansing. I'm getting rid of them. So, I'm not picking up information. I'm closing them out of information. So, because I don't need to get information from them anymore. I need to move Pick them up. on. Now, when you get you some uh, sage and stuff, do that. You know, you can go around and do this anytime that you want or feel that it will help you be more secure and it also helps you establish your new boundaries. Uh, and I will leave the salt water bottle here for you to use. Um, this I'm going to have to put out. But, um, How do you put it out? I'm just wondering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me one second on that. Well, let me just explain something to the viewers. Um, I don't know how many of you have ever seen a cleansing done on a show before um, but again this is the reason why we get into what we've gotten into is to help families out now you may have heard the homeowner's voice in the background mark was actually talking to her at the end of his point here but um, you know this is their privacy this is their home so we're not going to show their face you may hear their voice but you know this is something that they reached out to us in confidence in and reached out to us and I'm going to tell you now the courage to reach out to a professional team who has the abilities and has the manpower and has the initiative to be able to come out and help, which is what we were here for. So I want to thank Mark for what he's done tonight, and I want to thank the homeowner who is off camera for allowing us to come out tonight into her home and try to help her family out. Um, that is all we're going to do tonight, and we appreciate your time very much. We appreciate uh, the homeowner allowing us to come into their home again and invade their privacy. But um, I really hope, we really hope, that you got something from this to go forward with. If you need if help, you're having trouble, call someone. Yeah, God, please. If you're if you're having issues, reach out to a team you can trust. If you don't know of a team, get a hold of us on our website at www.ghost-paranormal.com. You know, get a hold of us on there. We get a feedback page, a contact page. If you need help somewhere where you don't know of a team, give us a yell. We will find a team for you if we're not able to do it ourselves. So again, reach out for help if you need. Don't. Don't placate, don't initiate, don't conversate with anything in your home. Reach out to your professional team to do that. We thank you very much.